this burnout extra, we take the rustiest rim we found on the side of the road and we buy a ton of Coca-Cola to submerse this in Coca-Cola. Legend has it that Coca-Cola is the best soda to help remove rust from something. Now there are different things and theories out there that you can shine your chrome, remove rust, use tin foil, things like that. I've actually done it myself in the past. However, we're curious to know that if you just let something rusty sit in Coca-Cola, will that actually help? And will you be able to pull it out afterwards and scrub it down and have it be better? So we are going to take this rusty rim and fully submerge it in Coca-Cola. And we Googled it and found out that Coca-Cola would be better than Diet Coke. So we're going with Coca-Cola and we're going to submerge it in this bucket for roughly two weeks and then check it out from there. We bought 40 liters of Coca-Cola. We're trying to figure out how much Coke to buy. Right now, this is what our cart looks like. But I think we might need some more. It just somehow doesn't feel like enough. We bought 20 bottles of Coke. These are all two liters. Honestly, don't think I've ever done something quite as ridiculous as this. Like, I, we were standing at the checkout line. He's he's keeping it together well, but I'm cracking up. We have 20. Can you just bring us out? This is so stupid. So we're gonna throw these in the Challenger right now, and uh, hopefully they don't shake up and explode on the way home with Jay's ridiculous Challenger driving. Do we get everything on the list? <laughs> I mean, normally you go to the grocery store, you forget your list, and then therefore you forget the items that were on your list and you never end up buying what you needed. There's no list needed for that. Holy cow. How did we blame that? <laughs> Dude, this is actually the exact right amount of Coke. So basically right now, we're just gonna roll this into Jay's garage and then let it sit there for a week, maybe two weeks and see if anything happens. I'm excited. <laughs> Good enough. I think this is one of the best burnout extras yet. Leave some comments if you want to see more stuff like this. We've been planning this video since the beginning of burnout. And it's finally come to fruition. And I feel like the only rust repair I've actually done up to this point was with chrome. It's not like actually with metal. We're also thinking about doing a video where we test the difference between Coke and Diet Coke and then Pepsi and Diet Pepsi as well, all in one video and see which one actually works the best. So let us know down in the comments if you wanna see a video about that. It will be sitting for at least seven days in this exact spot. Coca-Cola with the rim submerged. I will check it to make sure it's submerged every single day. We will uh, tune back in to see how this turns out. Roll it. Yeah. Roll it. All right. So here we are, one week later. We have a bucket that's full of very dirty Coca-Cola. And despite being in the garage, it actually evaporated a little. It did, we lost a little bit of Coke due to evaporation, which I wasn't completely certain was possible, to be honest, but yeah. It's still pretty orange and brown, but it looks like it's uh, stronger. Don't get salmonella. Wow, it really smells actually. <laughs> oh, this is so much coke. <laughs> That is gross. In the middle. Uh, that off. 
conclusion, it probably didn't do anything. It, it really didn't accomplish much at all. No. Having it sit I on mean, there for at least a couple minutes is good, but all right, the difference this, between a couple minutes and five, seven days, probably nothing. This top part up here is really smooth now, and it like looks good too, but down inside, you get the de really deep pitting and the really bad rust, and that's all kind of the same. So it's like, it it seems like it works for light rust, but not for heavy rust. Once metal is rust pitted, it's very hard to get that out. Right. But I thought that after sitting for so long, it would at least smooth it over, and it doesn't seem like that happened. It yeah. seems like the top part got smooth because of the light surface rust. So in terms of functionality, I don't think I would recommend <laughs> Going out and just getting a bunch of coke to use as your main rust repair product or rust removal product. I actually do recommend that you buy like one two liter and just scratch that with aluminum foil, maybe pour it over every once in a while and keep scratching because that will come out smooth. It will get rid of the surface rust. It's not that expensive. You don't have to wait a week and it turns out okay. I was gonna say for sure a two liter of coke is less expensive than you know what I, that small bottle of uh, rust mort yeah. that we have in the rust mort uh product review video uh there will be a link to that up there so like personally i would still use rust mort as a rust repair product especially for anything that's heavier rust um but yeah i mean the coke really is budget friendly for some light rust and and it seems to do the job well enough so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more weird, quirky, funny, goofy content like this, make sure you subscribe. And let us know down in the comments if you want to see us do another video where we put Coca-Cola and Pepsi head to head in a rust repair challenge. But be sure to check out our merch because that is also just as sweet. And I don't mean sugar wise, I mean looks wise. These are phenomenal. They're on our website at Burnout Show dot com slash store and you can find t-shirts and hoodies and things like that that you can buy according to how you like them or what color you prefer so be sure to check that out once again that's burnoutshow.com slash store and we will have more products coming up in the future it helps support us it helps support the channel helps us grow and um, ultimately they're warm and comfy i genuinely love this and probably wear it all the time so uh, be sure to check that out as well be sure to like the video please subscribe and hit the notification bell and we hope to see you next time with more shenanigans like this. Thanks for watching.